What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Thanks for being here. Hope everybody's good. I think it's September 20th. Yes, it is September 20th. Uh, Monday, September 20th, 2021 for everybody keeping track. So I saw a mainstream headline that I was like, hmm, what are they going to say here? And then an article that I couldn't believe. I had to, I had to share it with you immediately. Immediately. Post haste. Because it was so funny, so entertaining, so shocking in, I don't know how many ways, but so many ways. So the headline that I saw obviously intrigued me to open it because I'm like, what are it? Because it says that uh, these four words are um, spreading, helping to spread misinformation and disinformation and then inside the article. It says, um, you know, that these four words alone, these dangerous four words. You hear that? I'm pretty sure someone's driving a weed eater up ahead of me. And if they could swing by my house, because I've got some weeds that need eating. But anyway, I'm going to have to talk over the damn weed eater because I know this is picking it up. It sounds like he's got a rubber chicken on the end of his... Is it... Is it... Is it... Is it is it Sounds like he's got a rubber chicken on the end of his exhaust pipe. Anyway, these dangerous four words are disrupting the the Kool-Aid rate, right? These dangerous four words are keeping the Kool-Aid out of people when we need Kool-Aid in people. So these have got to stop. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know what the four words are. But I was wrong. And they tell you what the four words are in the first line of the article. And I couldn't believe what they claim the four words are. The dangerous four words that are harming the Kool-Aid rate. We know what the Kool-Aid is. Uh, there goes that weed eater. Good God. It's a four-door Toro sedan. Um, good, that sounds terrible. Good Lord. Uh... The four words are, do your own research. Literally, those are the four words. Do your own research. Those are the dangerous four words. The very four words that I've talked about for two years here, and I have said, please don't just take what I say and run with it. Please do your own research. I have further said, anybody that says, just listen to us, don't do your own research just believe us. Don't look into anything yourself. Anybody that's giving you information and not telling you to do your own research should not be trusted. That person person's a danger and doesn't have your best interests in mind. And they come, not only do they never tell you not to do it, now they come right out and say, don't do that. That's bad. Okay. Well, that, doing your own research, finding the truth on your own. Well, that's bad. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do that. Okay. What the... I was, uh, I, but, pff, what? I'm like, the mainstream media is coming out and confirming everything we've been saying. Confirming it. I mean, we already know it, but there are some people who don't, who don't believe it. Here they go, confirming it. Confirming it. They're saying those four words are dangerous. Anybody suggesting that people should do their own research those people are harming everybody. So I'm I'm a harm because I'm suggesting you should do your own research that's harmful to you. So they literally are saying don't don't look into it, don't find the truths, don't find real life stories, don't look at hard evidence, don't look at or listen to any experts other than the ones we present to you. Do not do this. Listen to only what we say, because anything you find, anything you find, if it's not what we tell you, it's not true. It's just not true. We don't know what it is specifically that you're going to find, but we're telling you right now it's not true. If it doesn't come from us, it's not true. It's not. It's not true. Don't listen to it. It's not true. Mm -mm. What? <laughs> and then I'm like, holy shit, so... I mean, we already know that they think people are stupid 
and some and you know in some cases they're they're right maybe not stupid but super conditioned and controlled but oh my god how dumb do they think people are that they are coming out and saying that doing your own research is a bad thing anybody who doesn't just listen to what we say is stupid Anybody who wants to look in, in, in anything to themselves is stupid. That's weird. Um, it's a vehicle over there with driver door open, nobody in it, no license plate on it, probably stolen. Last one I found like that was stolen. Um, but holy crap, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I can believe it, but it's funny and it's scary and it's, I couldn't believe they come right out and said it. And it's scary that there are going to be some people that read that and be like, well, that is true. It is stupid to think for yourself. It is dumb. How? And that's scary that they've got people, some people conditioned and brainwashed to a level where they can say that doing your own research is bad and these people will believe it. No, no, no. Only the holy, mighty likes of CNN. That's where all our truth and information comes from. I literally thought it was going to be, we will not comply because those words are going to hurt your rate too. And uh, those are more words that I suggest as well. We will not comply. Do your own research. And Hey, like I always say, like I always tell everybody, you know, people who say things like what I'm saying, and I'm not saying me, I'm saying anybody like me, or saying the things like me are trustworthy people giving you information or sharing stories but saying please don't just take what I'm saying but look into it yourself and do your own research please those are people that literally want to help you they literally want to help people they want to help people find the truth when they see that somebody else is trying to harm people they want to try to counteract that and I don't know what, how more boldly they can come out and say that they are trying to harm you. Other, aside, you know, other than what they've done already today with these, that's dangerous. Let's buy it. I'm good. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm almost at a loss for words because I can't, if I didn't see it on the website myself, like if somebody, you know, if I saw a screenshot on Twitter or whatever, I wouldn't have believed it was real. I would have thought it was Photoshopped. I would have been like, haha, good one. Uh, you know, that, that was clever. That's funny. But no, this came directly from the mainstream media. Do not do your own research. That's bad. So when you look and you find these people that have the Kool-Aid, wish they didn't because they're harmed forever. Um, you see the crazy things that I saw. Last night I saw this guy. Uh, he just drank his second glass of Kool-Aid and all of a sudden uncontrollable shakes began and and, he, and he's there and, he's, and his voice is his voice is all shaking and stuff too because he's all shaking it's not like a seizure it's just uncontrollable shakes and he's he's very aware of it and he's like he's very frustrated and he's scared I'm not making fun right now I'm just demonstrating and it was his whole body his legs da, 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 the whole thing going you know and um and like 30 minutes later is somebody that keeps passing out. Never happened before, just now keeps passing out. And she did it uh, right in front of me too. And and she was she was a, a large, a, lar a very large person. So that, you know, you know, fall down hard and get hurt. And again, I'm not making fun. Uh, I felt bad. But again, the Kool-Aid, right? And she was describing these things to me. And then, you know, she felt dizzy again. And uh, boom, down she went. All these things. So these things. So I guess what they're saying is when I also when I see that for myself, it's not true. They are literally coming out now, just as we joked months ago that they probably would eventually do. They are literally now coming out and saying, don't believe what you find or see with your own eyes. It's not true. It's only true if we say it. It's shocking. It's shocking to me. In other news, it's weird. I know they're going to have this whole push against the Second Amendment. They're going to use this. But it's not funny, but damn it. Uh, two stories over the past couple of days in, involving guns. 
one in Florida, here locally again, um, three people were shot at a baby shower over arguments over gifts. They started arguing about gifts at the baby shower. Someone got super angry and started cracking up rounds. Nobody killed, but shot three people. Um, and then I don't remember the state it was in. I can't remember, but it was a few days ago. Two mothers dropping off elementary school kids at a school. The story goes, and you know, who knows if it's true or not, but the story goes, one in the in front of the school and the parent dropped off, one mother cut off the other mother. And she didn't do it on purpose and she felt bad. So she got out of her car to walk back there. They were stopped in the line, you know, so she got out of her car to walk back there and apologize, say, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't do that on purpose. Um, I'm not an asshole. I just didn't see you there, whatever. But the other mother wasn't having it. So she pulled a gun. Bitch, get out of my face. Get back in your car. Don't you dare apologize to me. Get a hold of sideways so people know you mean business. So then what'd that mother do? Oh man, that mother was like, oh my God, I just want to apologize. So she ran back to her car. And she came right back with a gun of her own. She's like, what now, bitch? What you got now? And they're like, F you, no F you, F you, F you, pointing guns at each other. In an elementary school, they both still had the little kids in the car, allegedly. They hadn't dropped them off yet. And then, I guess, they put their guns away dropped off their little kids and left and then other people reported it and they went and like what the hell are you doing so you can look at that story in a couple of ways in one sense you could be like oh it's good to see people are carrying guns but in another sense those type of people should not be carrying guns when you're you don't just carry a gun you ha you have to be safe with it you have to be knowledgeable with it not just the physical safety of it but you know just everything you have to, you now have the responsibility to stay out of situations like that. Something goes on like that, you turn and walk away. Just get out of there, get out of there. Because when you're armed all the time, every scenario you're entering, you're upping. It's an armed scenario. Even if nobody else knows it, it is an armed scenario. There is a gun involved because it's on you concealed. So somebody starts F you, F you. You should have got pink baby socks, you dumb idiot. Well, then you should just walk away. Walk away. Maybe you should have got pink baby socks, not yellow. Not yellow. If you paid attention, they said it was a girl. And you're acting like you didn't know coming with the yellow. Stupid. You deserve at least a pistol whipping. But, uh, yeah, no, so you have a responsibility. So, you know, it's good to see people arming themselves, not in that scenario. But there are people arming themselves that should not be arming themselves because they can't handle it. They can't handle it. It's a big responsibility. And you, just because you can doesn't mean you should. If you're one of those people that you're going to get pissed off at the line at the grocery store and pull it out, you know, nope, that's not for you. Not for you. So smarten up, people. Because you're going you're gonna to hurt the whole thing because the mainstream media never picks up on the good things that happen. They're always like, oh, look, see, we told you guns are bad. We told you guns are bad. They don't just say that some people are idiots, you know, even if those were center blocks or bricks and they started throwing bricks at each other. That's bad too, right? Is it the brick's fault or is it the person's fault? It's not the brick. It's the idiot that threw the brick. Anyway, anywho. So, uh, so yeah. So remember the lesson of today is, uh, don't do your own research. Okay. Cause doing your own research is bad. Okay. 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 Yeah, always do your own research and we will not comply. Twist a lot truth out. See you soon.